Hey guys, Garrett back for Save Live Online Sculpture with another Commander deck tech. Uh, this time we will be using Hazaret the Fervent, the new god from uh, Amonkhet. She is big and efficient. 5-4 four for 4 with Indestructible and Haste. Can't attack or block unless you have 1 or fewer cards in hand. And you can pay 3, discard a card, and have her deal 2 damage to each opponent. So, um, my original thought with this card was to work on that... Uh, second ability, but honestly, once I started playing with her a bit, I realized she is crushingly efficient, and if utilized correctly, will just run your opponent right over. So I decided to make this into a commander damage uh, kind of Voltron deck. Um, so I'm going to be working kind of quickly when I go over the cards in this deck. A lot of them are pretty similar, though, so shouldn't be a big deal. I just want to make sure this deck tech is a little bit shorter than my Kefnet one. Uh, so starting with lands, we got Mountains and Gemstone Caverns. Gemstone Caverns can be bad can be good um, i honestly just like it for the possibility of having that extra mana on my turn one though uh, then we got simian spirit guide lotus petal mox diamond simian spirit guide exiles to add red lotus petal can be used to get any color of mana once and mox diamond makes you discard a land but will add any color to your mana pool so that's pretty strong uh, next we got mana crypt chrome mox and soul ring Mana Crypt, of course, zero taps for two. That's all we care about. Chrome Mox uh, gets you one color. Doesn't matter because we're in red. Soul Ring will, of course, uh, just tap to add two and only costs one. So very efficient. Uh, next, we got Seething Song. Pay three, get five. Pyretic Ritual, pay two, get three. Desperate Ritual, another pay two, get three with a irrelevant second ability. Uh, then we're moving on from our fast mana to our buff spell, starting with Taste for Mayhem. It is an enchantment, which gives 2 plus O plus, or if you're hellbent, 4 plus O plus. You'll usually be hellbent in this deck. Dragon Mantle uh, gives the creature fire breathing, and when it enters the battlefield, you get a card. Uh, Tongroth's Rage, I hope I'm saying that right. 3 plus O plus as long as the creature's attacking. Otherwise, 2 minus 1 minus, doesn't matter. Our creature is indestructible or never blocks. Uh, Onagata. 3 plus O plus, uh, a little bit more expensive Bone Splitter, basically, in our deck. Uh, Bone Splitter, of course, very cheap, very efficient, well known for that. Built to Smash, um, 3 plus, 3 plus, basically, in our deck. Borrowed Hostility, uh, gonna be used mostly for its 3 plus O plus, the first strike is hardly relevant. Brute Force, 3 plus, 3 plus for 1 mana. Titan Strength, 3 plus, 1 plus, and Scry for 1 mana, very strong card. Uh, Reckless Charge, 3 plus O plus in haste, and you can pay 3 to flash it back. Uh, Seething Anger, 3 plus O plus, and you can pay 3 to buy it back. Amok uh, lets you discard cards to put plus 1 plus 1 counters. Sadly, the discard is random, but it honestly doesn't matter when you're emptying out your entire hand anyway. Uh, Rune Chanter's Pike, X plus O plus, where X is the number of instants and sorceries. This card has been a huge underperformer in my testing, but honestly, I don't know what to replace it with. Hero's Blade. 3 plus 2 plus, whenever a legendary enters, auto equips, very strong, immediately pumps Hazaret to 8 power. Umazawa's Jit, I'm going to say Jit, uh, has a million effects, all of them pretty relevant, uh, I mean, except for the gain 2 life one, but, you know, doesn't matter, Jit deserves to be in a lot of decks. Bloodlust, 4 plus 4 minus, can't reduce the toughness minus 1, so, uh, yeah, doesn't matter because my creature's indestructible. Fists of the Anvil, 4 plus O plus until end of turn. Invigorated Ramp plus, Rampage, 4 plus O plus and Trample until end of turn. Brute Strength, 3 plus 1 plus and Trample until end of turn. Blazing Shoal, Broken Card, should be banned. Uh, lets you just discard whatever high mana cost thing you have sitting around to make your Hazaret huge. Uh, Tenzo, God's Maul. Basically, for 3 mana equip 1, you end up with 3 plus 3 plus and Trample on your God card. Um, and then Champion's Helm, 2 plus 2 plus, and Hexproof. A little bit more expensive, but Hexproof is huge. Uh, next we got some double up effects. These first ones are going to be double strike, so you got Teamer Battle Rage, double strike, and trample. Uh, Assault Strobe, one banner for double strike, Uncaged Fury, plus 1 plus 1 and double strike. Insult to Injury, uh, first side, damage can't be prevented this turn. If a source you control will deal damage, it deals double that instead. Injury. 2 damage to target creature, 2 damage to target player. So, you know, just a nice little thing. Fatal Frenzy, X plus O plus for X is its power, sacrifice it at the end of the turn. And Russia Blood, same thing, except no having to sacrifice it at the end of the turn. 
Curse of Bloodletting, you put this on one opponent and it'll double up the damage that you do to them. Gratuitous Violence uh, doubles up the damage that your creatures do. Furnace of Wrath doubles up all damage. And Dictator of the Twin Gods doubles up all damage with Flash. Uh, so, basically what you're going to do is use your fast mana to play uh, one of these double up effects and some pump effects. And you're going to get to 21. Uh, in testing, I've had this deck win pretty pretty much always on turn 4 or 5 as long as they don't have blockers. And even through blockers sometimes if I've gotten my good draws. Um, this deck does have a few consistency issues if you don't have enough fast mana in your hand. So I could see cutting some of the pump effects for some fast mana if you guys so desire. Uh, moving on, we got our card selection, which is very necessary in a deck like this where you do need your fast mana everything on time. So, Tormenting Voice, 2 mana, discard a card, draw 2 cards. Magmatic Insight, 1 mana, discard a land, draw 2 cards. Cathartic Reunion, 2 mana, discard 2 cards, draw 3 cards. Uh, so these cards will all let you pitch whatever is useless, pick up another 3, 2 cards. Uh, same with Wild Guess, discard a card, draw 2 cards. Uh, Gamble lets you search your library for any card and then discard a card at random, which sometimes ends up doing nothing, but, you know, it's usually very good. Uh, Faithless Looting, everyone knows what this card does. Just discard 2, draw 2, and then you got flashback if it doesn't work the first time. Uh, then lastly, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I could see adding a few more wheel effects. I felt like you needed at least one, because if your Hazaret somehow gets pathed or something like that, uh, you really do want to be able to fill up your hand real quick again so that you can uh, go on another rampage before you're just shut out of the game entirely. Uh, next, we've got some Wraths. Wraths are good in this deck because Hazaret does not get hit by Wraths, being indestructible. So we got Bonfire of the Damned. This is just a good card. Uh, Chain Reaction and Blasphemous Act are both better when your opponents have more creatures. Uh, another note with Bonfire is that it's a lot better in decks that can discard it when it's sitting around in your hand and you don't get a chance to miracle it. Pyroclasm for that nice cheap Wrath effect to get rid of the early blockers. Arc Bond uh, because it's really funny with double up effects because Hazaret deals like 20 damage and then this thing's damage is doubled so it deals 40. Kills literally everybody. Uh, so, you know, Hazaret swings in, say sh her power is naturally at 10, they block, it doubles up to 20, arc bond, so when that creature gets dealt the damage, doubles up to 40, kills everybody, yourself included, but you feel like a winner. Uh, Nevimbriel's Disc rads everything pretty well. Uh, Jokal Hops rads the lands as well as the creatures, only play this if you feel like being a dick, but it's really hard to recover when there's a... Uh, 20 foot tall Egyptian goddess beating you down and you don't even have mana. Uh, Chandra's Ignition, good once you've got a little bit of power on your creature, but honestly, um, with double up effects, you're dealing 10 damage already to everybody, so strong card. Obliterate, same deal as Jockle Hops, except a little bit more expensive and can't be countered. Um, next, we got just some miscellaneous cards I decided to throw in here. Ignorant Bliss, remove all cards in your hand from the game face down at the end of the turn, return those cards to your hand, then draw a card. So this is a good way to make your hand go away for a little bit. If you don't want to get rid of the cards in one of your discard outlets, you can just have uh, Hazaret not able to see it, so you can attack and then get it back at the end of the turn with an extra card. Uh, Blood Moon, because Blood Moon, uh, it'll really hose some people trying to play more competitive decks. And honestly, that's a good thing to do. Uh, Nahiri's Wrath um, lets you just discard cards so that you can fling a whole bunch of... Uh, damage at creatures. Uh, very good for clearing a path for your Hazaret. Very good at getting your hand empty for your Hazaret. And then I got a single copy of Lightning Bolt because even though it's not good in Commander, I'm a sucker for the classics. Um, so that's been the deck. I hope you enjoy it. Please tell me how you would modify this as I'm not really used to spending uh, unlimited money on my Commander decks. I'm very used to budgeting them off. So I'm not really sure if I made all the best decisions. Uh, please please tell me how I could make this better for my ex mage and proxy experiences. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this deck, and uh, peace out.